Shahu, also known as Rajarshi Shahu Maharaj or Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj, June 26, 1874 to May 6, 1922, of the Bosli dynasty of Marathas was Raja, reign 1894 to 1900, and Maharaja, 1900 to 1922, of Indian princely state of Kolhapur. Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj, also known as Rajarshi Shahu, was considered a true democrat and social reformer. First Maharaja of the princely state of Kolhapur, he was an invaluable gem in the history of Maharashtra. Greatly influenced by the contributions of social reformer Jyotiba Phule, Shahu Maharaj was an ideal leader and able ruler who was associated with many progressive and path-breaking activities during his rule. From his coronation in 1894 till his demise in 1922, he worked tirelessly for the cause of the lower caste subjects in his state. Primary education to all regardless of caste and creed was one of his most significant priorities. <inaudible> Early life He was born as Yeshwantrao in the Gaj royal Maratha family, of Kajal village of the Kolhapur district as Yeshwantrao Gaj to Jaisingrao and Radhabai in June 26, 1874. Jaisingrao Gaj was the village chief, while his mother Radhabai hailed from the royal family of Mudhol. Young Yeshwantrao lost his mother when he was only three. His education was supervised by his father till he was ten year old. In that year, he was adopted by Queen Anandibai, widow of King Shivaji IV, of the princely state of Kolhapur. Although the adoption rules of the time dictated that the child must have Bosail dynasty blood in his vein, Yeshwantrao's family background presented a unique case. He completed his formal education at the Rajkumar College, Raikat and took lessons of administrative affairs from Sir Stuart Fraser, a representative of the Indian Civil Services. He ascended the throne in 1894 after coming of age, prior to which a Regency Council appointed by the British government took care of the state affairs. During his accession Yeshwantrao was renamed as Chhatrapati Shahuji Maharaj. Chhatrapati Shahu was over 5 feet 9 inches in height and displayed a regal and majestic appearance. Wrestling was one of his favorite sports and he patronized the sport throughout his rule. Wrestlers from all over the country would come to his state to participate in wrestling competitions. He was married to Lakshmibai Kanvilkar, daughter of a nobleman from Baroda in 1891. The couple had four children, two sons and two daughters. Vidokta controversy. When Brahmin priests of the royal family refused to perform the rites of non-Brahmins in accordance with the Vedic hymns, he took the daring step of removing the priests and appointment a young Maratha as the religious teacher of the non-Brahmins, with the title of Kshatra Jagadguru the world teacher of the Kshatriyas. This was known as the Vedokta controversy. It brought a hornet's nest about his ears, but he was not the man to retrace his steps in the face of opposition. He soon became the leader of the non-Brahmin movement and united the Marathas under his banner. Social reform Chhatrapati Shahu occupied the throne of Kolhapur for 28 years, from 1894 to 1922, and during this period he initiated numerous social reforms in his empire. Shahu Maharaj is credited with doing much to further the lot of the lower castes, and indeed this assessment is warranted. He also ensured suitable employment for students thus educated, thereby creating one of the earliest affirmative action 50% reservation to weaker sections programs in history. Many of these measures were effected in the year 1902 on July 26. He started Shahu Chhatrapati weaving and spinning mill in 1906 to provide employment. Rajaram College was built by Shahu Maharaj and afterwards it was named after him. His emphasis was on education and his aim was to make education available to masses. He introduced a number of educational programs to promote education among his subjects. He established hostels separately for different ethnicities and religions like Panchals, Devadnya, Nabik, Shimpi, Dhor Shambhar communities as well as for Muslims, Jains and Christians. He established the Miss Clark Boarding School for the socially quarantined segments of the community. He introduced several scholarships for the poor but meritorious students from backward castes. He also initiated a compulsory free primary education for all in his state. 
He established Vedic schools that enabled students from all castes and classes to learn the scriptures and propagate Sanskrit education among all. He also started special schools for the village heads or potals to make them into better administrators. Chhatrapati Sahu was a strong advocate of equality among all strata of the society and refused to give the Brahmins any special status. He removed Brahmins from the post of royal religious advisors when they refused to perform religious rites for non-Brahmins. He appointed a young Maratha scholar in the post and bestowed him the title of Kshatra Jagadguru the world teacher of the Kshatriyas. This incident together with the Shahu's encouragement of the non-Brahmins to read and recite the Vedas led to the Vedokta controversy in Maharashtra. The Vedokta controversy brought a storm of protest from the elite strata of the society, a vicious opposition of the Chhatrapati's rule. He established the Deccan Rayat Association in Nipani during 1916. The association sought to secure political rights for non-Brahmins and invite their equal participation in politics. Shahuji was influenced by the works of Jyotiba Phule, and he long patronized the Satya Shodak Samaj, formed by Phule. In his later life, he, however, moved towards the Arya Samaj. In 1903, he attended the coronation of King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra, and in May that year he received the honorary degree LL.D. from the University of Cambridge. Chhatrapati Shahu made great efforts to abolish the concept of caste segregation and untouchability. He introduced perhaps the first known reservation system in government jobs for untouchable castes. His royal decree ordering his subjects to treat every member of the society as equal and granting the untouchables equal access to public utilities like wells and ponds, as well as establishments like schools and hospitals. He legalized inter-caste marriages and made a lot of efforts for the upliftment of the Dalits. He discontinued the hereditary transfer of titles and tenures of revenue collectors Kulkarni, a caste infamous for exploiting the masses, especially enslavement of the Mahars, a lower caste. The Chhatrapati also worked towards betterment of the conditions of women in his empire. He established schools to educate the women, and also spoke vociferously on the topic of women education. He introduced a law banning the Devadsi Pratha, the practice of offering girls to God, which essentially led to exploitation of the girls in the hands of the clergy. He legalized widow remarriages in 1917 and made efforts towards stopping child marriages. He introduced a number of projects that enabled his subjects to self-sustain in their chosen professions. The Shahu Chhatrapati Spinning and Weaving Mill, dedicated market places, establishment of cooperative societies for farmers were introduced by the Chhatrapati to alleviate his subjects from middlemen in trading. He made credits available to farmers looking to buy equipment to modernize agricultural practices and even established the King Edward Agricultural Institute to teach the farmers to increase crop yield and related technologies. He initiated the Ratanagari Dam on February 18, 1907 and the project was completed in 1935. The dam stands testament to Chhatrapati Shahu's vision towards the welfare of his subjects and made Kolhapur self-sufficient in water. He was a great patron of art and culture and encouraged artists from music and fine arts. He supported writers and researchers in their endeavors. He installed gymnasiums and wrestling pitches and highlighted the importance of health consciousness among the youth. His seminal contribution in social, political, educational, agricultural and cultural spheres earned him the title of Rajarshi, which was bestowed upon him by the Kurmi warrior community of Kanpur. <laughs> <laughs> Association with Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Chhatrapati was introduced to Bhimrao Ramji Ambedkar by artists Datoba Pawar and Ditoba Dalvi. The king was greatly impressed by the great intellect of young Bhimrao and his revolutionary ideas regarding untouchability. The two met a number of times during 1917–1921 and went over possible ways to abolish the negatives of caste segregation. Together they organized a conference for the betterment of the untouchables during March 21–22, 1920 and Chhatrapati made Dr. Ambedkar the chairman as he believed that Dr. Ambedkar was the leader who would work for the amelioration of the segregated segments of the society. He even donated 2,500 rupees to Dr. Ambedkar when he started his newspaper on January 31, 1921, and contributed more later for the same cause. Their association lasted till the Chhatrapati's death in 1922. 
Topic: Personal life. In 1891, Shahu married Lakshmi Bai Ne Kanvilkar (1880–1945), daughter of a Maratha nobleman from Baroda. They were the parents of four children: Rajaram III, who succeeded his father as Maharaja of Kolhapur; Radhabai Akasaheb Puar, Maharani of Diwas (senior) (1894–1973), who married Raja Tukajirao III of Diwas (senior) and had issue. Vikram Sin Rao Puar, who became Maharaja of Diwas senior in 1937 and who later succeeded to the throne of Kolhapur as Shahaji II. Sriman Maharaj Kumar Shivaji Srimati Rajkumari Abai died young. Death The great social reformer Chhatrapati Shahuji Maharaj died on May 6, 1922. He was succeeded by his eldest son Rajaram III as the Maharaja of Kolhapur. It was unfortunate that the reforms initiated by Chhatrapati Shahu gradually began to cease and fade for the lack of able leadership to carry on the legacy. <laughs> Full name and titles His full official name was, Colonel His Highness Kshatriya Kulawadasana Sinhazanadishwar, Srimant Rajarshi Sir Shahu Chhatrapati Maharaj Sahib Bahadur, GCSI, GCIE, GCVO. During his life he acquired the following titles and honorific names 1874–1884, Mirban Srimant Yeshwantrao Sarjarao Gaj, 1884–1895, His Highness Kshatriya Kulawadasana Sinhazanadishwar, Srimant Rajarshi Shahu Chhatrapati Maharaj Sahib Bahadur, Raja of Kolhapur 1895–1900, His Highness Kshatriya Kulawadasana Sinhazanadishwar, Srimant Rajarshi Sir Shahu Chhatrapati Maharaj Sahib Bahadur, Raja of Kolhapur, GCSI 1900–1903, His Highness Kshatriya Kulawadasana Sinhazanadishwar, Srimant Rajarshi Sir Shahu Chhatrapati Maharaj Sahib Bahadur, Maharaja of Kolhapur, GCSI 1903–1911, His Highness Kshatriya Kulawadasana Sinhazanadishwar, Srimant Rajarshi Sir Shahu Chhatrapati Maharaj Sahib Bahadur, Maharaja of Kolhapur, GCSI, GCVO 1911 to 1915, His Highness Kshatriya Kulawadasana Sinhazanadishwar, Srimant Rajarshi Sir Shahu Chhatrapati Maharaj Sahib Bahadur, Maharaja of Kolhapur, GCSI, GCIE, GCVO. 1915 to 1922, Colonel His Highness Kshatriya Kulawadasana Sinhazanadishwar, Srimant Rajarshi Sir Shahu Chhatrapati Maharaj Sahib Bahadur, Maharaja of Kolhapur, GCSI, GCIE, GCVO. Topic: Honors. Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Star of India GCSI, 1895 King Edward VII Coronation Medal, 1902 Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order GCVO, 1903 Hun. LLD Canterbury, 1903 Delhi Durbar Gold Medal, 1903 King George V Coronation Medal, 1911 Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire GCIE, 1911 Delhi Durbar Gold Medal, 1911 President of India unveils the statue of Rajarshi Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj 28 December 2013 at Pune. See also Bosail Family Ancestry Reservation in India Dalit